Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about Nintendo's upcoming console and how Xbox Series S may have influenced the Nintendo next gen console in ways that you might not expect. So, when Xbox announced the Xbox Series S, a lot of people, including myself, were skeptical because it didn't look that powerful. And the specs, although the CPU, is more powerful than the PlayStation 5 CPU. The GPU and the amount of RAM storage was lower, so the random access memory. So a lot of people were skeptical, but over time, the Xbox Series S has so far proved that it's a pretty powerful little monster. And of, of course, Microsoft is using cloud, so xCloud, a lot of games you can already just play it straight away with just a press of a button and it's running on cloud storage. So it's not really a problem that it's not that powerful. But having said that, it runs Flight Sim, it runs the latest upgrade from Cyberpunk 2077 as well as the GTA 5 next gen upgrade and it looks great and I have two Xbox Series S consoles for my sons and I have the Xbox Series X here in my gaming room and I don't see a lot of difference between the X and S and so far I think the S is doing a pretty good job so far in terms of performance and graphics capabilities. So that makes me think from a business perspective, from a hardware perspective, it makes sense for Nintendo to have different variations of the next console. I don't know what it's called, the Switch 2 or a totally new name. It makes sense to have something like the Series S and maybe have a handheld hybrid type of console as well, but have something at least on par with the Series S, more powerful, and let people just choose what kind of de gaming device they want. Do they want to play on a traditional console or play on a switch type of hardware type of dock and handheld and i think it makes sense even from a business perspective because microsoft was not selling well to the japanese market the, the consoles really sold bad last generation I think the 360 was the only console that sold more than 1 million in Japan. And that's it. And the Xbox One, of course, <laughs> was really garbage in terms uh, of sales in Japan. So even in Japan, which is not traditionally a Microsoft slash Xbox market, they are selling way more than before. I think it makes sense to have two type of consoles. One, a super powerful one. And a uh, slightly less powerful game console like Xbox Series S. So it made sense for Microsoft. Why wouldn't it make sense for Nintendo to do something like that? Because they have a lot of fans like me that are asking for a home console, that want a home console, are more into home console gaming and want the more beefier specs, want the better graphics, but also like all the Nintendo content because, let's face it, Nintendo has the best IPs f Zero, Metroid, Mario, Zelda, and way more Star Fox. And it makes sense to have a good console too, good console specs. They can even go to the Wii U console. And to my surprise, a lot of Wii U ports are coming to Nintendo Switch. And the Switch is selling like hot cakes. And maybe it's time to switch it up. Maybe it's time for Nintendo give gamers more choice, have a home console version. On par with the Xbox Series S or more powerful because I don't think the hardware limitation is a thing. Hardware or money or game engine or anything like that is a problem for Nintendo. So we can go on and on and on about this, but in the end, essentially it's Nintendo's choice. Does Nintendo want more money? If so, Give gamers more choice. Give Nintendo gamers more choice. Give Nintendo fans more choice and have multiple variations 
of Switch 2 or the next gen console, whatever it's called. So let me know what you think about this. Do you want Nintendo to do something like the Xbox Series S as well as some kind of hybrid console like the Switch to give people more choice? I think it makes a lot of sense. So thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe for future videos if you haven't already and hit the bell icon. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.